Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. And today we're gonna revisit something I've tested before, portable chargers. Uh, not, not this one per se, this is the Jupio one that I actually got for free from B&H when I ordered, where'd it go in my office? Right there, <laughs> you can't see it, it's, it's out of frame. The uh, thing, the tripod gimbal, yeah, the, I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> let's, um, let's unbox the MagSafe battery pack and see what it's like. I really like the stickers on the box. Cargo aircraft only, forbidden in passenger aircraft. Is that legit? We can't travel with it? That seems, anyway, let's unbox it and I'll give you my first impressions. All right, here goes nothing. Nothing like that first incision. Oh, you know, I always get a kick out of their packaging. Why did the box have to be so big? Shove that aside. That is tiny. iPhone battery pack by MagSafe. So there's usually a little, ah, there it is, right there. Glasses time. iPhone battery pack. Shows that it's sticking to an Apple iPhone. Nice. And that's about it. Okay, so do we just pull open? Does it? Okay, I did that little thing right there. Ah, there we go. So if you pull really hard and then just slides out. Nice. Designed by Apple in California. Holy cow, a bunch of product manuals. Yeah, I'm never gonna read those. Recyclable. It is smaller than I thought. Okay, my favorite part. Taking off the wax paper. Okay, so that's really smooth and that's, yeah, it's not completely shiny, more of a matte finish. It does not come with a cable. Well, I'm actually filming on my iPhone 12. So let me grab, it says it's Qi compatible. So let's try it with the, which phone is this? <laughs> let's try it with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Here we go. That was anticlimactic. Okay, I do not have a MagSafe compatible case. Okay, it did kind of suction on there. Hmm. I mean, it's on there, but it's not charging. Oops, you are using an abnormal amount of battery. In apps too much battery, your phone will suggest actions. You can always turn off battery saver. Okay, good to know. It's sucking onto my OnePlus, but does nothing. Let's try Samsung. Now, of course, this is designed for Apple, so this would be uh, negative tests or compatibility testing. It's not working with my Samsung either. I guess this awesome poetic case that I have is not compatible with MagSafe. Well, my first impressions are I like it. So now it's charging. So let me switch phones, hang on. Okay, this will work better. <laughs> I, uh, I really thought it would just be, ah, just rolled over one of my cables, dang it. You know, my, <laughs> yeah, my wife asked me to clean my office and this is why I hope I didn't ruin that other USB-C cable. Put that over on the other desk, my bed. I did not think this through. I actually did research. I watched some other reviews on the MagSafe 
battery pack. It is charging. Let's try this. Ready? Ready? Did you see that? Now the cool thing is it makes a really cool sound. And let, and let me play this for you. So you want to have it off, right? And now, ta-da! Isn't that fun? Isn't that worth $100 just to get that? iPhone can charge to approximately 90% while using a MagSafe battery pack. What? Take a screenshot of that. Okay, that's interesting. iPhone can charge to approximately 90% while using MagSafe. So you can't fully charge it? Hmm. Well, further research is gonna be needed on that. Now, as far as the look, I mean, it's it's Apple. <laughs> it's Apple to Apple. It should look good, and it does. It fits within the phone, and it's compatible with your moose case. So this is the moose case. Did I say moose? Mouse case. I want to say moose. Boy, I'm screwing up. First, I think this is USB-C. It's lightning port. Okay, we have the mouse case on the iPhone 12 mini, and we'll try it again. There's a little sound effect and the animation. Pretty cool. Huh, wonder why it says 90%. Maybe what I need to do is charge this more. Okay, very cool. I didn't have to do anything. Apple just knows that the MagSafe is there. And on my widgets, it tells me MagSafe battery pack 31%. Can you, can you read that? That's awesome. So well done Apple on that because that's one thing that always bothers me, then on a lot of these charging packs, like this one that I've been using for a couple months now by Jupio, it doesn't tell me exactly how much power is left. It has dots, then you have to do math, like okay, two dots out of four, that's half, so it's somewhere between 25 and 50%. This actually right up tells you, so it says 32%. So now let's try this. I'm gonna take the MagSafe off, and now it's just charging, right? Will it tell me the percent? And the answer is no, so you have to have it connected. Well, that's neither here nor there. Let me play around with this for a little blit, a little blit. Let me play around with the MagSafe a little bit so I don't make more of a fool myself, and let me run some tests. I have 11 questions I want to answer during this video. Call it a deep dive, if you will, into battery packs. But so far, I like it. My first impression is great. I, li I love that it gives the battery percentage. I kind of thought that was going to happen. I didn't see that in other videos. And then, of course, it works with the moose case. And then I have an apple case. So this is... Um, I said moose again. Mouse. Here's the mouse case that it's compatible with. And this is an OEM Apple case. And you can see the differences between mouse and Apple. Very similar. Both have the MagSafe dioramas, diagrams. So now we'll try this. Yeah, that. That's really on there. And then of course, if you adhere it directly to your phone, it suctions right on. Now the huge advantage to this that a lot of people haven't realized is, yes, it's Apple to Apple, but because it's designed by Apple and because it's looking for the exact coil inside the iPhone, it's getting a perfect match. So it's kind of like when you're charging, if you don't, exactly put in your your charging port all the way you're not going to get a good charge well that's the same with wireless charging and that's one thing that i've never liked when you're using different coils and i'm not going to pick on this one let me pick on this one so this is an old school five watt wireless charger by anker uh, some people say anchor i like to pronounce anker but i have already screwed up mouse and moose so say la vie anker <laughs> This, this one has got to be at least four years old. But on this one, it's whatever Qi compatible, but when you're trying to put your phone on there, you just have to guesstimate, like, oh, I think it's there. And then as soon as your phone 
makes contact coil to coil, then it starts charging, but you don't really know if it's correctly lined up. And when the coils are misaligned, again, it's like that, you know, when you're plugging something in, if it's not plugged in 100% or at least 90%, it's not gonna have good contact and a good electric connection. And that's what Apple has done. They've solidified <laughs> and really made that a perfect alignment or as perfect as you can get in 2021. So right there, that's what it looks like with the naked iPhone. I think it looks really good. It doesn't bleed over the edge. It's just perfectly aligned. We're gonna do some heat measurements. Where's my heat gun? Oh yeah, see? Ooh. So let's test it right off the bat. 84.3. Eighty-four point six, okay, and then the phone, eighty-seven, okay, not too bad. So we're gonna just let this ride, and I'll show you what I've learned. So I'm gonna pause the video, and I'll come back tomorrow. I'll be wearing a different shirt, maybe. Sometimes I wear the same body. Thanks for watching. Be right back.